week's edition of Trivia Tuesday. It is Tuesday, November 16th, currently. And for whatever reason, let's see. Ah, there we go. Okay, cool. We are here. We are live. Can no one is watching? Awesome. Let's see. Hey, Jeremy in Manchester. Okay, it was saying that there were zero people watching. Uh, so want to send a shout out to Jeremy. I see that I have two viewers currently. We will be starting the trivia portion of the show up at about quarter past the hour. Remember that um, when we start this off that, uh, let's see, let me find the link for you guys to give permission to display um, who you are. Let's see here. Ah, okay. So here it is. If you guys haven't done this in the past, you want to partake and you want to see exactly who you are, go to this link and grant access. Just follow the instructions within that link and grant access so that we can see who you are. If not, you're going to have to tell us if you're a competitor one, two, three, four, or whatever it is. So um, it's just how it works out. But, um, yeah, um, we had five people last week. Let's see. Mr. Brad Dahl informed me that um, he was going to be uh, working, so he wasn't sure if he could jump on in. Hey, cool. Hi, Metal Dan. Glad to hear that. Wow, that's awesome. So there you go. If you guys subscribe um, to the actual feed every time that it goes live you guys will be notified that it is live and uh, what i'm gonna do this week for the winner i was setting up a new merch store um whoever wins this week will be getting a discount code for the merch store so if you feel the need to purchase any mars attacks uh merch well this will help uh this will help make it a little cheaper that's all um but uh anyway yeah the idea is by the end of the year and uh just so you guys know there've been a few people that have mentioned that I should try and um do questions surrounding specific bands and that's actually what I'm planning on doing for the month of December is doing themed shows so that it will only feature questions either from a specific band or maybe a specific genre or even um, maybe a specific year. Because that's one of the things that we're banding about for next month uh, for the Patreon live streams that will be on Friday nights is doing episodes discussing specific years. Uh, Jeremy brought up uh, talking about the state of the music industry and uh, what future uh, hard rock and metal have uh, moving forward, how we each individually feel. So that's an interesting topic that we're going to tackle. And we're also going to talk about our favorite albums of the year. So uh, if you want to do that and also be a part of our Scorpions discussion on the 26th of this month, uh, $2 a month gets you into Patreon and gives you access to all of that great information. So um, I realize that not everyone can do that um, because, you know, it's the holidays. We've all got bills to pay and, and I get it. Not everyone is interested in paying $2 for it or, um, <laughs> hey, Brad, 
Uh, thanks for joining us tonight. Like I said, not everyone is interested in spending time or money on what I offer there, and that's that's cool. I completely understand. I do ask that you guys do like and share the episodes that I do release in podcast format or YouTube or uh, anywhere else, or if you jump on into Trivia Tuesday here, same deal. Let your friends know. Let the artists that I've interviewed know about um, about the fact that you're checking their interviews out or that you're checking out the Trivia Tuesday and people will, you know, it just gives them a reason to check things out. So there you go. Uh, like I mentioned, we're going to start this up at like 15 after the hour. We're just going to wait for some more people to join us. Looks like we have three so far to partake. See if there's anyone else that will be jumping on in. <laughs> uh, Brad, that's funny because I had to shorten when I did my um, social media post before to remind people that it was um, a Twitter Tuesday or uh, Trivia Tuesday. Uh, I originally started with, um, you know, uh, Chris Sinzak of Decibel Geek won last week. Will he be able to retain the crown or will Metal Dan kick everyone's everyone else's ass uh, like he did the first two weeks? Unfortunately, when you're messing around with Twitter and stuff like that, there wasn't enough space. But surely, if uh, Metal Dan wins, I will mention that next week. So... I want to make things as um, as as special and, and as inclusive for you guys that are here live, and for those especially, Dan is a Patreon as well as a patron as well. I appreciate um, that he does give up some of his hard earned money to follow what I do there, and he seems to enjoy the Victor M Ruiz podcast, which is one of the perks on Patreon. So I do appreciate all of you guys. Uh, the three of you that have been chatting so far with me here are patrons. So I always say, you know, you guys are what really gave me a kick in the ass late last year to uh, to really do this more than, than what I was doing at that point. And uh, I thank you guys for that. I thank you guys for jumping on in Fridays and now on Tuesdays and uh, just supporting and sharing and doing all the stuff that you guys do. So it's awesome. We have about seven more minutes to go here. Keep bouncing up and down a number of viewers. So hopefully uh, by 15 after the hour, everyone who wants to be involved will be involved. So, and I get it. People are working. It's busy and, you know, some people can't join. <laughs> Victor the Preacher. Yeah, I I used to do that. Um, I, I used to do that all the time, actually. That was, uh, I used to do that as a kid, the whole preacher thing. Um, but yeah, who knows? Maybe I'll incorporate that again in the future. I've got, you know, it's funny. I've got a ton of ideas for things that I want to do. It's just, I got to talk to someone to give us 36 hours a day so we can kind of fit that all in there, but is what it is. <laughs> um, yeah. I don't know if you guys checked out the, because you guys are obviously on Mark's Patreon as well. If you guys had a chance to check out this week's uh, episode of his show that um, that we did. And also, I did the recap show. I mean, I, I'll, I'll admit, I changed up the recap show based on... Uh, based on uh, actual actually Metal Dan suggestions and started including things. You know, I've got the hardware to do it, so I figured that I, that I would. After posting the episode, though... I don't know if maybe I screwed up and because when I went to play a podcast after, I noticed that it was at one and one-fourth times faster. 
So I don't know if I played one of those clips faster than what it was originally recorded as. So no one's complained yet. Or I haven't jumped into Mark's Patreon today. So I'll do that. But um, yeah. A lot of interesting things going on with Mark behind the scenes. I'm, I'm privy to some information that I've sworn that I can't tell anyone. It's something that actually he said during the last show that um, that he's going to let everyone know what's going on within the next month. Um, we'll see. Uh, I hope that the, the project or what... <laughs> Without getting into too much detail, I hope that what he's discussing does come to fruition because it is uh, something kind of special. So <laughs> tell people to stop eating packing peanuts and call me. Oh, wow. So it's been that kind of a day, Brad, huh? <laughs> well, considering the stories that you've told us, I think that packing peanuts is the least of uh, people's worries. Because I'm, I'm assuming that, um, that unless you eat a ton of packing peanuts that are probably, well, as, um, as Brad's catchphrase goes, he's going to die, just not from that. So <laughs> I'm assuming that you got to eat a, a whole lot of packing peanuts to die. <laughs> I'm sure I could. Hey, is there any way that I can uh, work from Spain and be part of Utah's poison control? <laughs> M- might be easier than searching out projects on a daily basis. So, I think the commute from here to Utah would be uh, kind of difficult, though. In any event, you took a Spanish call today and did all right. Well, that's awesome. It was funny. I was hired to work for an insurance company once. And and I remember the boss asked me after I was on the job for a month. He said, why do you think you were hired? And I said, oh, I think it was because of this answer that I gave you during the interview process. And he goes, no, you were hired because you know Spanish. <laughs> I'm like, oh, okay, great. Thanks for laying it on the line for me. Here I am patting myself on the back for coming up with uh, with what I thought was a cool answer, but I seem to be striking out on that end of things. Oh, okay. Let me see if I can do that. Here's the link once again. If you want to, if you want to tell us who you are, just follow the instructions there. We'll start today's game in about two minutes. I will say this: Metal Dan and Brad should have an advantage over people with some of these questions. Because we're going to be getting back into the territory of what we went over the first two weeks. Or the f- first episode. Because the first episode, I I went all gung-ho. And I did, ah, oh, let's just do, let's do 50 questions in one, in one serving there. And then, um, and then I, I realized, yeah, that might be a bit much. So 10 is where we're at. I think 10 is a good... A, a good spot to start at and that way we can um you know it's we're in and out uh, again i know people are busy i know people are i know people are working so they're kind of playing hooky when they're partaking so we're about uh 20 seconds away from getting this underway here folks Let me get the screen ready Oh, it is ready. Okay. Let's see. We're going to move it here. And three, two, one. Let's go.
Okay, no problem. All right. So the rules are coming out here. Let's hope that um, if you guys see that there's too much of a lag, uh, just let me know. I think that it's more or less on par here, but uh, let's see. This is always a work in progress. Here we go. What guitarist was Gene Simmons looking to catch live when he, he saw Eddie Van Halen instead? Was it Vinnie Vincent? Was it George Lynch? Was it Steve Lynch? Was it Tommy Thayer? Answers now. Remember, the quicker you answer, the more points you get. But if you answer incorrectly, you also lose the most amount of points. So click wisely. Answer wisely. Okay. Two of you answered. George Lynch. All right. Awesome. Kicking things off. There we go. Metal Dan. Starting out with uh, answering the first question. Let's see. Showing all two players. Jeremy, did they not let you jump in? He sung for both LA Guns and Hollywood Rose. Is it Danny Vaughn? Is it Axel Rose? Is it Joe Elliott or is it Phil Lewis? Who could it be? All right, some silence there. Let's reveal. Let's see who got it right. Ooh, one of you guys got it right. The correct answer is Axel Rose. <laughs> Phil Lewis sung in L.A. Guns, but not in Hollywood Rose. Let's see. So Metal Dan in the lead still. Contestant three, who I'm assuming is Jeremy Weltman in second with minus 7,403 points. And Mr. Yarg Metal, Brad Dahl, in third with negative 13,207 points. Dan Spitz used to play guitar for us. Is it Overkill? Is it Exodus? Is it Slayer? Or is it Testament? Dan Spitz is best known for playing in Anthrax. But before he was in Anthrax, he was in this band. All right. We are waiting for the players here. Let's see. All right. Overkill. One of you guys got it right. One person said Slayer. And one person did not answer. So let's see. Let's show the scores. Wow. Let's see. Brad Dahl got it right. Metal Dan. <laughs> Negative 3814. So right where we stand. I feel like Sean Connery here. Yes. Look at me now, Money Penny. Let me undo your bow and get to know ya. Um I guess that's not politically correct anymore. Anyway. Uh let's see. So Metal Dan in the lead with 28,799. Brad in second with eleven thousand three hundred and four. 
And Jeremy with minus 7,403. Okay. The organization is a band that contained former members of what band? The Haunted, Sacred Reich, Meshuga, or Death Angel? That's right, we're waiting. We're searching for the correct answer. Can anyone get this? The, well, I'll, I have to say the, well, reveal the answer. So here we go. Death Angel, one of you guys got it. So the organization is a band that was formed after Mark from Death Angel left due to the fact that he went to go try out for Iron Maiden. So the rest of the members of the band started the organization when he went to uh, when he went to try out for Maiden. So there you go. Let's see the scores. Metal Dan, the only one that took a stab at that one. I think Metal Metal Dan. Oh, I guess you mentioned it a few weeks ago. That what part of uh, California you're from? I think you said Orange County. So I mean, it's a band out of California, so you would probably know more so. Well, actually, Rad's originally from California as well. Metal Dan thrashing away. Metal Dan is, um, you know, 44,000. He's got a 33,000 point lead almost over Brad and um, a Jeremy. Jeremy didn't answer that one either. She was never a member of the Runaways. Sherry Curry, Lita Ford, Mina Caputo, or Joan Jett. Which one of them was never a member of the Runaways? Waiting for everyone to chime in as the clock keeps going down. Oh, there you go. So Metal Dan is a huge Death Angel fan. A band that pleasantly surprised me when I saw them in concert, you know, I like some of their stuff, but th- seeing them play Thrown to the Wolves live was ridiculous. Loved it. Mina Caputo. So four people. Aha. So we have more people jumping in right now. Let's see. Metal Dan with 18,000 squeaking it out over contestant six. Not sure who contestant six is. Let us know who you are. Brad Dahl in third. Yorg Metal. And we have Jeremy. Aha. Mike is. Mike is here. You're six. Yeah. So let's see the, the total scores here. So we have instantly, oh no, um, Jeremy's contestant three. So contestant five, who are you? Will contestant five please step forward? Oh, I'm sorry. Did I break your concentration? Uh, anyway, let's see. Metal Dan just pulling ahead. Will anyone catch up to Metal Dan? This is already, what question was that? Let's see. Next question. Question six, which band does not have a host on Knotfest in their ranks? Is it Silver Tomb? Is it Diamonds? Is it 12-volt negative Earth? Or is it Burn It Down? Let's see. Jeremy, we're trying to figure out all the bugs as, as I go with this, so I do apologize if that happened. Not sure if maybe it just takes the first four people that answered. Kind of weird. 
Oh, one person got it right and two got it wrong. Two answered diamonds. <laughs> Let's see, who did what? Wow, Brad got it right. Brad got it right. It's Silver Tomb, who has former members of Typo Negative. Let's see, Metal Dan. Metal Dan can stand to lose points, so no big deal. He can actually he can actually risk some of these now. That might be a smart strategy. So he's well in the lead. Let's see. Charlie Benante is related to Frank Bellow Howe. He's Frank's uncle. There's no relation at all. He's his cousin or he's his brother. Which one of these is the correct answer? Waiting on you guys as the time goes by. All right, let's reveal the answer. Uncle, one person got it right. Two people have cousin. <coughs> Mike got it right. Oh, so. Gotcha. So Metal Dan, I guess you're saying that you messed up this one with... Um, <laughs> in anthrax family tree they're the only ones that are that are actually related um you could you may need the family tree to figure out side projects and stuff like that no doubt but uh relation they're the only ones that uh that are ready so all right let's move on he never officially appeared on an Anthrax album. We're Anthrax heavy today. Joey Belladonna, Neil Turbin, which I believe I spelt wrong, John Bush. Let's do it. Or Dan Nelson. Which one of these never appeared on an Anthrax album? Although I have seen this person in question live, and I have a bootleg with them. And I know of another project that he was a part of that I was told that if I ever divulged anything regarding this band, that I would hear from the other party's legal counsel. So we will not be divulging that information tonight. The correct answer is Dan Nelson, which all four of you guys got. And boom goes the dynamite. All right, cool. That was question number eight. Oof, Metal Dan just pads on his winnings. Thirteen, roughly 13,000 ahead. 12,900 and something, if we're going to be exact, but... Mike is pouring it on. Mike, I guess you didn't get that same, uh, you couldn't break away at the same time like Dan did with, with his alert. So let's see. SOD stands for Savages of Doom, Saints of Dune, Stormtroopers of Death, or Surf, or Die. Anyone remember that song, Surf or Die? Surf mm -mm -mm. or Die. Mm -mm -mm -mm. All right. Three of you guys answered correctly with Storm... Troopers of Death. Awesome. <laughs> wow. 
Wow. Mike squeaked in, but is it enough? Metal Dan just keeps pouring it on. Cool. So he once auditioned for Poison. This is the last question. And didn't get the gig. Is it Slash? Is it Metal Dan's favorite Blue Saracino? Is it Tracy Guns? Or is it Richie Kotzen? So this guy auditioned for Poison and did not get the gig. So which one of these... Which one of these tried out for the band? It's over, Johnny. Oh, wow. Two people actually said Richie Kotzen. Richie Kotzen is on the album Native Tongue by Poison. Slash is the correct answer out of this. So um, there you guys go. And let's see the, the final results here. Hold on. Is it a surprise to anyone? Oh, wait a second. Out of left field. How'd this happen? Wow, so on the very last question, Mike pulls ahead. Based on getting 19,592 for the last one, for the last question in Metal Dan, getting minus 4,570. What, what a great, what a great game this week. Guys, that was awesome. I didn't see that coming at all. I don't know if there was any money exchange behind the scenes, but uh, congrats to Mike. I will be sending you a discount code for the new um, Mars Attack Singles from Mars merch store. If you want to use the code, that's cool. If you want to pass it on to someone, that's cool as well. Um, I'm in the process of finishing the store up. And we'll be setting the sending the code out to people. And um, also, if you guys are not signed up for my newsletter, go to MarsAttacksRadio.com. All the way at the bottom of the site, there is a way that you can sign up for the newsletter. Uh, there will be different discount codes offered in upcoming newsletters as well. We're right around the Christmas season, so if you want to gift someone a marvelous Mars Attacks podcast t-shirt, there may be someone out there who needs this for the holidays. So, yeah, uh, Mike, I'll do that. I'll, I'll ship it on. I'll send you the code through Instagram. So, uh, guys, I do want to thank everyone who was able to hop on in today was a lot of fun, uh, a come from behind victory there by Mike. And um, thank you, uh, Metal Dan. Thank you, Brad Dahl. Thank you, Jeremy Weltman. And there was someone else who has remained anonymous throughout tonight's um, episode. Thank you guys all for being here and participating. And... The intent is to uh, raise the stakes as time goes by and make this more worth people's wild and maybe even have some type of a commemorative shirt for, uh, for, for winning some like grand championships. So there you go. All right, guys, thanks again for joining us here for Trivia Tuesday here on Twitch. If you guys have any suggestions... Um, to how to make this better or whatnot, feel free to drop me a line. Go to uh, marsattacksradio.com. You'll find links to all of my social media. You can um, drop me a line via social media. Or just send me an email, input at 
MarsAttacksRadio.com. That is it. I was, well, let's see. Jeremy says, I was seemingly three and five. Don't know how. You're you're good like that, Jeremy. You were covering all bases. <laughs> so, uh, awesome, guys. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time for Trivia Tuesday. Friday, we'll be back with um, Fireside. Uh, if you guys haven't jumped in yet, uh, it's only an Apple exclusive, unfortunately, for now. But um, I'll be going over new releases and uh, some metal news. And then from there, we have the live show. I'm trying to work out a guest currently. We will see what happens with that. So I have some feelers out there. We'll see if anything takes place. Anyway, thanks again, guys. And uh, we'll see you next time, if nothing else, here next Tuesday for Trivia Tuesday on Twitch. See you, folks.